Hey everyone, I'm John. And I'm Paul. And today we're reviewing drones. Today we're just going to be testing some different features comparing the Mavic and the uh, Phantom 3. Yes, and uh, let's get into it then. The drones we'll be comparing are the Phantom 3 Professional and... And the Mavic Pro. Um, the aspects that we'll be seeing out today, uh, mostly to do with uh, cinematography. Cinematography, using photography. Them. Yep. Uh, first one we're going to do is cameras and gimbal. The Boom. next test is ease of use. And that also includes how hard or difficult it is to set up each respect, respective drone. Alrighty, and then after that we're going to look at dimensions. Next we'll be looking at flight dynamics. How, uh, how well each craft flies and handles. Excellent, and then after that uh, we'll be looking at flight modes. Okay, so we've just arrived at the park to undertake the first in the series of the drone, of the drone comparative tests. Yes. And if you can just have a quick peek at what John's carrying. So John's got a small little handheld pack there. Um, he's got his camera, so probably the bulkiest thing out of that is probably the, the tablet. Um, now, let's just have a quick look at my, uh, my situation. Actually, this can't really describe it. John, do you want to uh, just, yeah. It is a situation. Pop that, I'll do a quick spin. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty big. Um, you can tell straight away that, yeah, the portability of the Mavic is superior, <laughs> far superior to the, uh, the Phantom. And see, oh, let's just put the Mavic and the Phantom containers next to each other. And you can see straight away that the Phantom is considerably larger than the Mavic. Mm -hmm. However, is bigger always better? No, no, it's how you use it, all right? We know this. Alrighty. As you can see, I've used my own packing foam to protect it. This isn't an official case. I like it. Simply, there she is. And all you gotta do is fold out the arms Expand propellers. And she's good to go. Of course, before I fly, I will pull that cover off, but for now, it is good. Now, you don't need a, a phone or a uh, even a tablet to fly. Well, I have to say, make sure your tablet is charged. Twice, three times now, mine's gone dead, and I've had to fly this thing back from 2,000 feet away by just the digital numbers displayed on here. They're only a small writing, very hard to see. You'll be, the numbers will be going down and before you know it, oh, they're going back up again and the joint's going further away. So make sure your tablet is charged. Uh, that's my definite number one recommendation. But back to this, all you do is flip up the uh, antennas, simply. Fold out these bottom parts here. There where your phone goes, all right? At the moment, I'm using a Nexus 7 tablet, but uh, yeah, that'll slot in there, plugs into the side, and away we go. Awesome. So straight away, you can tell that the sizing in the, pa the packaging of the, uh, the Phantom is much larger. This one's also like uh, John's isn't an official Phantom case. Now we have our drone here. We've got our controller. Uh, being fixed, it has really nothing to pull out so uh, we've got the battery here which we just pop in and then we have the other uh, rotors to put on because if the rotors were on the craft unlike John's they don't fold up uh, it would be extraordinarily large and we're just going anti-clockwise there DJI does supply a little spanner which you can tighten those up or loosen them off uh, I also like to give my camera a little bit of a wipe and ensure that the lens is clean. Uh, following this, we'll then expand the controller and we can then connect your, uh, your tablet or mobile device. Uh, benefit about this controller is it does house quite a large device. And this will just pop the phone into place. You've got the basic tracking mode. Yep, we've got point, uh, point of interest, uh, waypoints, uh, basic tracking, uh, touch to fly, uh, 
there are a few there are a few and there is a gesture uh, mode but we uh we need to test that out before we uh display it on the video but we'll get back to that in another video so prior to flying i like to calibrate my craft uh just ensuring yeah, yes it will know where your home point is and update it but i just prefer to uh calibrate it before every flight to everyone watching, it does look a bit ridiculous. I do get strange looks from pedestrians as they walk past, but uh, you know, uh, safety first. Now that you've all died of laughing, we'll bring you back to life and we'll uh, get off the, uh, off the ground. The Phantom 3 is probably one of the easiest drones that I've flown. If you do watch the videos provided by DJI Online. They do provide a decent amount of explanation when setting it up, calibrating it, if you're a novice. If you are a professional FPV drone racer, or you've used drones before, it probably may be a bit slow. You can modify the sensitivity as you can with all DJI craft, uh, but it's more just for photography and really getting a drone with a 4K camera, it's, I think, one of the best you can get on the market. You do find it does get blown around a fair bit. The gimbal and the stabilizer below the gimbal really do seem to take out a good amount of shape from the camera footage, so it isn't too noticeable, but compared to the Phantom 4, it doesn't really uh, compare. The Phantom 4 is amazing. Both the Phantom 3 and the Mavic Pro are both phenomenal aircraft. They're both fantastic value for money and both have fantastic 4K cameras that give creators an amazing array of, uh, of versatility. Before drones came about, the only way to capture aerial shots was with helicopters or aircraft and this was highly expensive and often wasn't even an option for a lot of people. Drones can fly in areas that aircraft can't. They're a lot more versatile, they're cheaper, and with the technology available today, they are amazing. Furthermore, the amount of uses for drones is ever expanding, uh, from 3D surveying and mapping, videographers, you've, drones are also used on beaches to detect for sharks and a variety of other manners. And drones will only become more prevalent in the future. If you do decide to become a Phantom 3 or Mavic Pro owner, I would suggest a couple of things. The first thing I would suggest you getting uh, as well as your drone, is a backup battery. While the flight time is 25 minutes, it does take a while to charge, and you'll often find yourself out in the field and wish you had that extra battery life and flight time. Ensure you also have a backup or extra large SD card if you do get the, the batteries. You don't want to run out of space when you're up in the air or have to remove footage. You know, it can be frustrating. Lastly, I would recommend you purchasing a set of ND filters. Uh, these... These ND filters apply to the front of the craft. They reduce the amount of UV glare and they're fantastic and they really help with post and editing. If you've never purchased a drone before, I would recommend you purchasing a smaller toy drone for $100 and just get used to flying the drone. Compared to a Phantom, which isn't for indoor use, it will give you a feel for how to fly a drone so that you don't crash a, uh, an expensive piece of uh, a kit that you've just purchased. Once again, please be sure to read all of the material that DJI supplies or at least watch the videos because they will make sure that you get the most out of your product and you won't have any accidents. Once again, be sure to adhere to all local, federal and state rules regarding aviation. Don't fly near airports, don't fly over large public places, get the proper authority, ask permission, you'll be surprised. People are, are more than happy to, uh, to let you fly in some places if you share your footage with them or your photos. Back to John and myself. Okay, well we hope you enjoyed today. Uh, don't forget to check out John's channel for some great videos on drones. He's also got a tutorial on different flight modes. Yep. Uh, like and subscribe. Also like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this channel. Follow us both on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and all the rest. <laughs> Thank you once again for watching. Thanks guys. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.